Hello everyone, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be showing you three duo strategies that you can use in rank to win more rounds. These are going to be on Oregon, Cafe, and Night Haven. So tag your duo down below or show them this video so you can get these set up and win more rounds. Now the best part about these setups is while they are duo setups, there is a main and a support. So you can run them by yourself. Of course, they're not going to be as effective but it's still possible to run half the setup. So this first one is going to be on kids dorms on Oregon and you're going to bring a castle and an Azami. I'm going to show you the castle setup first. All right. So what you're going to want to do with castle is wherever you spawn in, this setup takes a little bit of time. So wherever you spawn in, I would kind of do it in that order. So for instance, I spawn dorms. So throw a beeper on white stairs. Then you're gonna come over here into game, throw one castle onto game window. This is mostly just a time wasting tactic because you know they have to repel up, start smacking it, all that. Then you're gonna come into master, castle off the closet, and castle off the balcony. And then you're going to open up the master bedroom wall at head holes. Try to make it to where you can't vault through it like they're kind of messed up maybe make them a little bit higher it's not a huge deal but just helps you out quick side tip if you shoot the super shorty twice and then reload it's faster than going through and doing all three because you don't have to chain for the last round but there you go and then once prep phase is over that's important because let all your teammates get where they want to be then you're going to castle off main stairs and all you're going to be doing is castle. You're going to be playing an armory and contesting bedroom. So you're just going to be, you know, when they're on balcony, you're going to be contesting there. Oh yeah, and your last beeper, throw it on main stairs so you know if anyone's pushing you from there. Now, be aware, whoever is playing castle, you're going to be playing your life. You're most likely going to die in here because it's very difficult. Like I said, you're trying not to make these to where you can vault through them because then they can vault to you but um it's gonna be very difficult normally for you to go back to site you'd have to go rip this down then go back to site and then you'd be exposed in trophy so you're just gonna be playing an armory playing your life and wasting as much time as possible they're gonna use drones they're gonna use nades they're gonna flash you they're gonna use all kind of utility trying to get you out of trophy uh, sorry out of armory and the longer you can stay alive the the better you did your job you don't even really have to get many kills i mean of course getting kills is going to be better you're going to even the odds but just getting them to waste so much time worrying about this person in armory is where the strength lies in this setup you can use your pocket shotty and drop garage if you really wanted to get out of there but you're not going to have a lot of intel on you know on lobby and stuff so it, it's risky if you drop it i would say just stay in there quite literally as long as possible only under very special circumstances would i actually drop garage like if the whole team is pushing white stairs and they need me a flank or something like that but generally just stay here play as long as you can now let's go to a zombie set now for a zombie the zombie player is going to be playing in attic and defending master bedroom with castle so what you're going to, want to do is come into attic of course reinforce the back wall reinforce the right side of this wall and then you see where this seam is between the boards you're going to throw it in the one right next to the reinforcement that's going to give you a punch hole right here that you're going to be able to see master bedroom door with you're going to want another zombie on this corner right on the drop just to help protect you from attic window make sure they can't see you you know from the window and get shot from behind and then with your third one you're going to want to put it on the bottom left of the trophy master bedroom door what that one is going to do is protect your legs when you peek and also kind of give you this nice angle that's much harder to hit you from than if you're just using this one now you have two kiva barriers left you can really do whatever you want with these. If you have somewhere you like to put them for dorms or bunk, you can put them there. Or what I like to do is just use them to replenish my barrier. So, you know, they throw a nade or something, they get rid of this one. 
put it back. And then, okay, well, you know, put it on the the white part, not the the brick. But yeah, you replenish it. Or if someone's playing behind you, they they had a gone six. They got rid of this. This one's really important. So put another Kiva barrier. Bang! Now you're back in business. As you can see, even if this one gets destroyed, you're still pretty protected. Uh, I threw this one a little high. Throw it a little lower, but. Even still, it's going to be tough to hit you from this angle. And it's going to be really easy for you to see anyone trying to push their master better. And then, of course, in actual game, you'll have a rotate right here. So if you need to rotate to help defend big window, you can do that as well. So it's really a very good setup. Try this one out in your next ranked game. Let me know how it goes. And now let's move on to the next setup. Now, this next setup is for the bar cocktail site. On the third floor of cafe you're going to want to bring a mirror and a castle the mirror is going to be the main setup for this one so if you were solo queuing you would run the mirror but the castle is also very important and is going to get some kills as well but for the mirror all you're going to want to do come over reinforce the right wall of the lounge put your mirror on the wall there we go and what I like to do is just make make a C4 hole at the beginning. You can open this up if you want, but it makes it harder to see you when you peek, and you can still throw your C4 over the top. Now you're going to come over here to tarp and reinforce this right wall here. Then put your mirror here. Now, once you have this left wall open, you're going to put head holes all the way along the piano lounge main wall. So now, from your mirror, you can see all the way into piano. Now, I would have the castle play here since he has a 1.5, and you can, you know, you, you got a better angle, but the mirror, the mirror can still do some damage from this, from this distance if she needs to. And now, normally, you guys know, on third floor cafe, you'd make a rotate right here, but with this strategy, I like to reinforce it off. Just because you're not really going to be having anyone play in piano. And you don't want to worry about having to fight the rotate and the site. So just having it reinforced off is a nice way to just force them to push all the way through lounge in order to get to white stairs. And even if they do get here, you can still get some nice angles. Come on the stairs if you need to. You know, all that. So this is everything Mira's got to do. Pretty simple setup. You can even reinforce this wall if you want to. Now let's move on to Castle, and you guys can see what the rest of the setup looks like. So with Castle, what you're going to be doing is using your utility to encourage the enemy to push through Cigar Lounge. So you're going to have one castle right here on the red hatch. Now you can even go as far as to make... Oh no, I, I accidentally made... A vaultable, a vaultable hole right, right into Cigar. Oh no, I hope the enemy doesn't push into there. You can pop one castle right here just to hold them off in case they rush through there so they're not pushing through Cigar. Now remember, this wall is going to be reinforced, so you can put a castle right here if you want to. Or you can do what I do, is put one behind Mira so they can't pop the Mira from the window. Your last castle, you have a decision. You can either put it here on the double door, or you can put it here on the close bar door. This just helps Mira a little bit. Part you if you're the one playing this Mira, as I said earlier, because that way they can't like push in through here and get like a super close angle on you. It's it really just depends. Uh, some teams like it right here, so they can't throw nades and whatever in this doorway. But honestly, if no one's playing this doorway. They can shoot at this all they want. You're safe right here on the mirror. It is very difficult to get a nade to bounce off of this. And then even still, it probably won't hit you right here. Uh, and then very importantly, or even the most important part of this setup, castle with your proximity alarms. You're going to have one on white. You can put your other one either right here, or you can put it on new hatch, which I like to do just to know... If they're dropping there, so if I'm playing as Mira right here, I can swing heaven if I want to. Just a little a little peek and then go back to playing my Mira. But this white stairs proximity is the most important because 
that's really where the only weakness of this setup is. Someone can walk up white, bang, castle's dead, they push into cocktail, you're dead. So this proxy is very important. And really, if you hear this broken, I would pull off of the mirror and try and come play this or get a teammate to get some kind of intel so that you don't just get slammed or you're trying to hit someone in lounge. So that is the cafe setup. Let me know what you think of this one or if you think of any improvements, post them in the comments. Now on to the final setup. Now for our final setup, this is going to be for the basement site of Night Haven Labs. You're going to want to bring a Mira and a Wamai. You can kind of do this with Jaeger, but having the 1.5 is, of course, very nice. So let's do Mira setup first. Now Night Haven gets banned a lot in Siege, which I don't really understand that. I really like Night Haven. But, being that it's banned so much, a lot of people don't know how to attack if you do anything different than the default setup. So the default setup, reinforce the assembly wall, reinforce the animus wall over there, and basically just hold sight, have someone holding above, and that's it. But, with this strategy, you're going to actually open up the main assembly wall. Okay, so open that up with your shotgun, then you're going to come over into exosuit, Make a crouch rotate behind pillar, reinforce the right side of the main nano wall, and now you're going to put your mirror right here, and if you're feeling it, you can even put your second mirror right here, because now, they push bottom, they're going to come up to this wall, oh no, it's already open, and now you got two mirrors, so even if they have enough utility to get through the Wamai disc, they still got to worry about two mirrors right here. They get one, you can move right here. Yeah, your feet are exposed, but they can't headshot you. You can peek through these sides, get nice angles onto the defenders trying to push right here. Now, this is another time-wasting strategy. Eventually, they're just going to give up on this wall and go somewhere else. The other option for the second mirror is right here in the nanotech hallway. You can put it on the right or the left and watch the stairs. I like to put it on the right side just so they can't get like a weird angle from these stairs and then you can play the stairs. But the problem with this one is if you start to lose numbers, it's it really hard to hold this and watch your back. And you're you're literally, you know, you're standing in a long hole. You're such an easy target right here. So that's why I like to put the second Mira over there. And then one more thing you can do with Mira, reinforce this hatch and toss your C4 right here. And now there's a cam that watches this. There's a window right here to the right in vending. And all you have to do is wait for someone to jump in this window and then blow your C4 and it's a free kill. I get so many C4 kills off of this. And then if no one comes there, easy. Shoot to the right of your C4 or sometimes to the left too. And you get your C4 back free and you have an angle onto the window. You do see someone coming there, they're breaking in, you're on cams, wait for them to hear the footsteps, blow it, free C4 kill. Now let's move on to Wamai. As Wamai, your main goal is going to be to protect the Mira, stop them from getting this with any Habana or Ace charges. So you're going to want to, you can even play the Mira since you have the 1.5, but you're going to want to put your Wamai disc mainly back here, because anything that comes through that wall has to go over those crates in order to get to those mirrors. You can be a little creative with it, put one here, or if you're worried that they're going to know this spot somehow and throw like a twitch drone through or something, you can put one here a little bit further back, give you some extra time. But really, you just need pretty much all your Wamais in this room. If it gets to a later round and you still got some Wamai discs left, you can throw one like right here because you're going to have a, a rotate right here if you're worried about them tossing in flashes or here or even back here in tank if you want one on the big window. You know, at least your first three, you're going to want for the mirror. Make it very difficult for them to get the mirror. Just line up this room with one my discs. Now, very important, your proximity alarms. You're going to want to have one here in the cargo stairs i never call this cargo but yeah the cargo stairs just because as mira you're always your biggest weakness is being flanked from behind so you're gonna want to have one there maybe even barricade this door just so you can hear it if they're breaking in and then i like to have one either here 
are better yet right behind the pillar just because they're going to be coming around if you put one here they can sit right here for a long time playing this angle they're going to they're going to get the proximity alarm and they're just going to sit here and you know, you're going to lose focus you're going to be fighting someone else then they're going to push through at the last second and get you by having one here you hear them when they get very close to your breach you can swing around shoot at them and hopefully get the kill uh and then also with here usually you can have a bulletproof here or at least you can watch the cam in vending if they don't destroy it or even if they do destroy it you'll know oh there's someone playing vending they're about to come down these stairs i have that in the back of my mind whenever i hear this proxy go off that means they're about to swing me and kill me i need to do something but yeah that is the night haven labs setup let me know what you guys think about this one and all of the setups. If you have any different strategies that you do with them, or if you have any setups on these three sites that you like doing, let me know. We might even test them in a ranked game, make a video about it. That's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope these help. See you next time.